The infighting that Sri Lanka has witnessed for quite a while has led to its demise in more instances than one. I recall one of Sri Lanka's most celebrated entrepreneurs, Diane Gomez, mentioned in this very studio that Sri Lanka has never been united. It rings true even today. This doesn't mean we have to be like zombies and not have constructive debate. We should. But we as Sri Lankans are not united about where we are going as a nation. We can't seem to agree that the people of this country need to uplift their quality of life and remain competitive with the world around us rather than live this life of deception by taking loan after loan. We can learn many lessons about how detached we are from reality when we look at the May Day rallies a few weeks back. The talking points are the usual slender and mudslinging, the usual rhetoric of taking over governance and the usual gathering leaving the working population of this country under the scorching sun, literally and figuratively. It is a good depiction of what is happening in this country right now. Politicians are on a different tier, unsympathetic to the needs of the people, while the people silently watch the so-called leaders scream their hearts out about how they will garner power next. The important lesson from this is that this political bunch needs to be made aware of where the country should head and it should work for both you and me. Let's at least make that a reason to become more investigative in our approaches to selecting these leaders at the next election. We'll be right back.